I'm introducing you today to Shivam Sani, a 17-year-old uh, young man from Modern School Vasant Vihar in Delhi, who is precocious, intelligent, charming, and uh, a voracious reader. So welcome, Shivam. Nice to have you on the Slice of Life. Hi, Subhi. Thank you so much for having me. It's uh, an honor to be here. So, Shivam, you've written The Boy and the Bard about Shakespeare and his uh, work. Did your father pay you a million dollars to write this at age 17? Is it a prank? Uh, were you inebriate? Tell us the backstory to this incredible book. So, I mean, I actually, it was about during the lockdown, um, I was looking for something new to read uh, in my bookshelf. So I came across The Tempest. So I thought, why not? Read it, loved it, absolutely. So I started blogging actually and um, so I read The Tempest then went on to Romeo Juliet, Julius Caesar and so on and so forth. I found so much relatability in his work um, even though it was written so many years ago there's just so much uh, in there that um, applies to today or just you know how uh, human behavior is. Shivam, you talk about relatability to a 17-year-old's mind and I remember reading about aerial and gender ambiguity. Tell me more. Obviously, he hasn't specified it as gender ambiguity, but the character of Ariel in The Tempest, I mean, you get an indication at times that Ariel could be female, but, uh, you know, Ariel is often re referred to as he. So in that sense, uh, Shakespeare just calls Ariel um, a spirit, uh, Ariel's an airy spirit and we don't get any classification or closure. So we're not allowed to box Ariel uh, into a particular gender or something like that. So I know that you've now uh, discovered the ambiguity of sexuality through Shakespeare. But as a school uh, going 17 year old in New Delhi, India, um, how has um, all of the, this fluidity in gender and how one uh, thinks about sexuality and gender today affected you? It's not um, really, I think, something that's been consciously talked about in school, if I have to say so, honestly. But uh, I think uh, most of the people are quite aware of these things, you know, because of social media, Instagram, there is a sort of collective awareness. Uh, discovering the character Ariel, did you feel it was everyday uh, normality? Was it a challenge for you? What do you think? Normal in the sense that yes, today perhaps it's much more normalized. I don't think there was such a discussion at that time. I'm not sure. But yes, I, like it's definitely interesting to find uh, such themes in uh, plays that were written so long ago. So I think that was the most interesting part, to find um, Ariel such an interesting character and so um, important for today's day and age. Shiva Mother, five words that stood out that affected you more than others. That's the superficial part of it. What's, uh, what struck me more than just the words was uh, what was behind the said words or uh, the power of those words or those particular quotes. Are there five characters that stood out? Iago from Othello, he's my favourite, um, Romeo from Romeo and Juliet, uh, Desdemona from Othello, Ariel from The Tempest and I think uh, Benedict and Beatrice from Much Ado About Nothing. As you set out to start a new life after you finished 12th grade, how would have Sh Shakespeare's plays and his uh, thought process uh, change the uh, journey of your own life going forward? Since I want to study English, I think um, Shakespeare has sort of, reading Shakespeare has um, sort of given me an idea of uh, what I'm in for and um, I love reading and I love analysis and I love writing about my, what I think about a particular piece of uh, fiction or um, so I think that's uh, my uh, most important takeaway from reading Shakespeare. finished reading Shakespeare did you question the wealth of offerings that Indian literature gave or were you familiar with it already we 
as Indians have a, a very strong culture and uh, heritage, so be it Kalidas, Tulsi Das, uh, Meera's poems, Kabir, uh, I think we have our own set of literature that is very powerful and very important. But um, of course, there is Shakespeare and you know Austin and uh, uh, the others uh, in the West. So I think they're uh, two completely uh, different uh, schools and. Um, it's just uh, I enjoy them both and try to take the best of both worlds. What are the five books that have most affected your life until now? I mean, beyond Shakespeare, definitely I think *Pride and Prejudice* from uh, by Jane Austen. Uh, Mr. Darcy as a character, I really relate to, uh, in not the obvious way, but I think uh, uh, on a subconscious level, I think he's really helped me grow as a person. The *Ram Charitmanas* by Tulsi Das, I think it's a great story, or the *Valmiki Ramayan* for that uh, in instance. Um, I think Ram is a character that uh, I've always loved. So definitely in term, from Indian literature, uh, definitely the Ramayan. Uh, the 40 Rules of Love by Elif Shafak. I think it's, uh, it's a great book, just uh, about, not only about love, but about life. From the Indian authors, I really like uh, Anuja Chauhan. I think her books are fun and um, just fantastic. Uh, or even Arundhati Roy's uh, The God of Small Things. Um, I really like uh, Esther and Rahil as characters. How has the pandemic and the lockdown affected you? Has it been meditative, reflective, exciting, full of discoveries? Tell me. I've never been uh, so busy in my life. I've been super productive. Uh, I've read, I think, close to 40 books now. And uh, writing, I mean, it, it was just, it, it just came uh, very instinctively I, I read uh, Shakespeare and then it just it happened so I think uh, it was just um, there was so much in me so many thoughts that I felt that I really needed to um, you know pen them down so what's next for Shivam as he leaves school and uh, flies to the next chapter of his journey in life um, I think uh, college, I hope to pursue English and um, besides that, uh, I think we cross that bridge when we come to it. Shivam, thank you for being here with me. Thank you so much. Wonderful chatting with you.